In this short video, I'll show you how to connect YouTube with N8 and Workflow. First, go ahead and add a step right here. Press trigger manually. Add another one, and this time type in YouTube. Press it and select a function. I'll go ahead and select create a playlist. Select credentials right here. Create a new one. Now on the on the new tab, you know, make a new tab and type in console dot cloud dot google.com press enter and this should pop up basically what we need to do here is uh, give us permission in order to put in youtube uh, the youtube function in the workflow so go ahead and press at the top left right here it should say new project go ahead and click it and press new project as for me i already made a new project as you've seen earlier which, which is was a youtube example once you've created yours it should pop up here so go ahead and press it i'll press mine there you go once that's done, go to the left side in navigation menu, go to APIs and services, and, and press enable APIs and services right here. Here, give it a sec. Now in this section, go to auth consent screen. Now on the right side, go press create auth client. And we'll select an application type, which is web application. Give it a name. I'll name my demo. At the bottom is authorized redirect URL. So go ahead and press add URL and go back to N8N and copy this right here. Go ahead, copy paste that, create. And it should show you the client ID. Go ahead and copy the client ID and go back and paste it right here. It says also here that there's a client secret. It's fine. Go ahead and go back to the console cloud and press OK. Press your project. On the right side, it should show you the client secret. You can go ahead and copy that one. Paste it right here. It should ask you to sign in with Google. However, we need to give it permission first. So let's go back and go to audience. At the bottom should be test users. Go ahead and add users. And type in the email that you're using in your 8 and N this one click save there you go go back and sign in with google give it a sec go ahead just go ahead and sign in it should tell you that it's not verified but that's fine just click continue select all and there you go you've successfully connected your youtube to your workflow as you can see here it says account connected Next, the last step we need to do is basically go to go back to the console and type in YouTube right here. It should show you a bunch of YouTube APIs, but we need to press the YouTube data one right here. And we need to make sure that it's enabled. So go ahead and press enable so that the YouTube data that we have is able to be used in the N8N workflow. So give it a sec to load. You'll know when it's, uh, you'll know when it's uh, functioning when it shows you this tab right here. Let's go back to any n and there you go you can create any function that you can in your youtube workflow in n now you know how to connect youtube with n8n workflow you can watch this playlist if you ever get stuck with this problem 